Good. Yep, that's me. The hardest thing you can do is trading for us. The second hardest thing you can do is creating content, especially in a country like Nigeria. Now, if you are looking for a glamorous video where I'm making millions in forex and I'm creating content in Dubai and living the lifestyle, this is not the video for you. But if you are interested in an average Nigerian challenging the odds of becoming successful in forex and content creating, challenging odds like lack of electricity, insecurity, nosy neighbors, unconducive environment, and all of that, then this is the video for you. Now, on a normal day, I wake up. Let's pretend I just wake up. Okay. So the first thing I always do is check my chart. Yes, that's bad. I know. But will I stop? Mm, I don't think so. And the first problem I encounter every day is network problem. God, that thing can be so frustrating. After a whole lot of shenanigans, I was able to figure it out after putting my Wi-Fi inside a port and putting it on the roof of my house. Yes, I did that. So normally, I will start by analyzing the chart from the daily time frame to my entry. That's if there is any entry. But I won't be getting too much into that because this is not an analysis video. This is just an update in a day of my life. So once I found my entry, I would enter and then update my Telegram channel of 38 members, LOL. I just created the channel just a month ago or so, so don't blame me for having 38 members on my channel. So I updated my Telegram channel and before I go back to my chat, we are in profit, baby. And you might be like, $1 profit. Are you serious? I said I was struggling. What were you expecting? $1,000? Bro. Okay, let me now explain why the profit is actually $1 after that kind of move. I'm doing a challenge of $10 to $50,000. And I just started, this is day 9. Today is day 9 of the challenge. So, so in fact, I was at drawdown before I now started making profit again. So, it's normal for me to have that kind of profit at first but as time goes on it will keep increasing as i'm increasing my odds ah, i mean i say odds as i'm increasing my lot size so there's no big deal in having one dollar two dollar three dollar profit if you are consistent with that as time goes on you will scale up that's, and that's all about forex that's all what forex is about if you can't scale up and you are looking at the numbers you will lose Anyways, I left the trade to run and I went to get myself cleaned up. And when I say cleaned up, you might be thinking some shower, some body care or something. Nah, I just want to brush my teeth with a very hard brush that can damage my wrists. And then probably wash my face or something. That, that, that's what I mean by clean up. <laughs> anyway, so after that, I get back to my chart and we are all green, baby. And then I lay on my bed to watch some netflix and chill and then put one eye on my trade this is how i do that i you know hold the mouse on my bed and then control it from there watching my trade as it runs and after two hours tp hit 2.5 dollars in the back baby that might seem small to you but trust me it is not you must be wondering by now how the hell i made thirteen thousand dollars me that i'm making three dollars and i'm excited how how is that possible? Let's get into the video. So after my TP was hit, I closed out on the trade and I was watching my Netflix until I fell asleep. And they brought lights while I was sleeping, which woke me up and I had to shoot content because whenever, one thing is, if you are in Nigeria or a country that does not have 24 hours electricity, once you see anything that looks like electricity, you have to be ready to shoot, like at a glance. So immediately I saw that I had to get dressed up and start shooting and all of that and what i wanted to shoot on this day is nfp because it's friday november 1 and i wanted to shoot for nfp and i wanted to trade mm -hmm. nfp to, even though i don't trade news because news is just like gamble to be honest but people that trade it knows how to trade but anyways so i wanted to do that on live and also on live on tiktok so i had to set my camera and all of that and I went to my demo account, one of my demo accounts, 
like with an S and I entered multiple trades until I hear this sound you know this sound right here yeah. and then I was waiting for the news so many, hence this so many, video so many, so many. and when the news was about to come out I was already account down five thousand dollars who does that if that's a real account I would just I would just die already because five thousand dollars and the news has not come <laughs> Oh wait, you thought it was a real account? You thought the thirteen thousand dollar was a was a real money? Oh, sorry to disappoint you, but it is not. I'm struggling. If if I make thirteen thousand dollars on a real account, do you think I will say I will put on this title that a struggling forex trader? I will change it to forex lord made thirteen or forex king or something like that. So it's not. I'm sorry. So of course it was demo, but the joy I felt when I won that news, when I saw those numbers, it's almost as if it was real because I was so excited. I don't trade news, but seeing those numbers made me, made me reconsider because I was like, what? I could make this just from just in one seconds or so. So it was it was it was fun, but I don't think I'll still be trading news because it's just gambling, and I don't have the money to gamble yet now. The lesson here is if you want to trade news make sure you can lose that money make sure you make sure you know you want to gamble with that kind of money and you won't be affected if it goes anyway even if there is profit you just be like oh cool and you just collect your profit or if there is loss you'll be like mm, i already forgot of that money do you get don't trade news with the money you are supposed to use to trade real accounts and scale up you don't do that so after this moment, my whole day, the rest of my day is just going to the mosque because it was a Friday and I'm a Muslim, so I attend prayer. Also, teaching my students at an Islamic school that I work and I earn like 40,000 naira, that's like $20 <laughs> per month. But you see why I'm doing that is because if you're a forex trader and you are quitting whatever job you're doing, whatever you in fact it can be free it can be a free job it can be a volunteer job do not quit it for forex now let me tell you what this does for you yeah if you are looking at the chat and your only hope is the chat there is no way emotion will not come in you will be emotional about your trades there is no way so having a job that pays you even even if it's ten dollar or five dollar per month is not it's not about the money you already have what you're doing for the money for the glamorous life because initially the job even if they are paying you hundred dollar or two hundred dollar the job cannot give you the lifestyle you're looking for so trading is already what you want to do to make that kind of money to live that kind of lifestyle that you hope for so you don't have to look at the money you are gaining at that job what that job is doing is balancing out your life balancing out your psychology when it comes to trading because you have something else to focus on after you leave the chat the chat is not just your whole life you keep staring at the chat oh should i enter should i not enter i have enter this is doing like this is moving no if you are doing that you will lose so you have to balance it out with something else and most times traders are always lonely they don't have much friends because a lot of people don't believe in them so if you are working a job you focus on that job at that time that you're supposed to focus on the job and then after the job you go back to your chart trade for either lose or win you just know that okay you have another job you go and focus on the job again now after leaving my job i was waiting for electricity so that i could shoot this content but believe me this content i shot it seven days is it seven or eight yeah eight days after that day that i was talking about i mean eight eight whole days because we did not have light for almost a week it like four or five days out of those eight days we did not have light and when they brought the light while i was shooting they took it and i could not complete the video in fact they brought the light at around 2 a.m in the morning and i still have to shoot some content i hope i don't disturb my neighbors but i have to make use of this electricity i might not have it tomorrow at all <laughs> so so my biggest challenge in this country and in this environment i find myself is electricity and network oh my god network can be so frustrating it will keep loading and loading and be like god so those are my biggest challenge now i've found a way to maneuver around it which i'll be talking about in my subsequent videos because you know i cannot go and buy transformer and start creating my own electricity but i found a way to do what i am doing and another thing is i cannot own a generator like generators are known for 
nigerians right but i cannot do that because it will affect you cannot if i if i was on a gen now you cannot hear what i was saying like you won't hear me so that's another problem but i found a way around it and i'll be talking about them in my next video before i go this is to finally drop some last motivation and it goes like this against all odds do what you love wait what i don't even know what that means anyways bye subscribe to my channel and share to your friends